I'm joined by head coach Emily Dunton from Hollins University. They were picked number 13 in this year's preseason poll. Coach, just three weeks on the job for here right now, so it's got to be a little bit of a whirlwind for you, but talk to me a little bit about coming into your first collegiate head coaching position. Absolutely. So I'm just really excited to have been given this opportunity to coach in the ODAC, the league that I played in. Um, it's been a whirlwind, like you said, for the first three weeks, but being able to have a mentor in Myra Sims, it's um, she's definitely a tremendous help, and we've just hit the ground running. Uh, let's talk about that. Obviously, you've got a roster that has some players returning from last season and some new players coming yeah. in, so a pretty good mix. Yeah. Talk a little bit about what you've seen from them in preseason and the type of style, more importantly, you want them to play. What is the quintessential Emily Dunton coach team? How are they going to play? Absolutely. So we want to play gap defense. We want to be um, have teams shoot over us, and then offensively in transition, we want to get down the floor um, and try to get some quick baskets. So... I've seen a lot from the girls. They Jenny did a great job in the recruiting class last year, so they got a lot of playing time, ODAC minutes. And so we have some sophomores and then two seniors um, that I believe are going to be vital to our success. Who do you think are going to be your leaders on the court this season, both whether it's a returning player or maybe somebody that's brand new that's kind of sparked your interest so far? Um, I think that Sally Surge and then Lucretia Hill, they are returner seniors, um, average double-digit points in the ODAC, and so I think those two players being seniors, having played in the league, that they're going to definitely give us some leadership. Let's talk a little bit about the ODAC and what you see, and kind of a two, two angle from you, given that you're so new to coming out of the ODAC ranks as a player, but then also coming in as a coach, you have to look at it in two different ways. Mm -hmm. Do you think, number one, that that's beneficial for you, that you still have a quick remembrance of being a player? And then just what do you see from the conferences here? Absolutely. So when I, I transferred into Randolph as a junior and quickly realized how competitive the ODAC was, I'd heard about it. Um, but until you play in it, you don't really get to appreciate how well um, all the players are and the coaches. And so I know that I'll gain even more appreciation as a coach and seeing it from the different side of the floor. Um, so I'm just excited to be able to see it from both both views. Well, Coach, I want to thank you for joining me today. Good luck this season. Thank you.